Hi, this is Allie Cadwallader, and this is my identity. So before divulging into who I am, I'm going to start with who I thought I was. Before this class, I really just identified with the appearances that people can see. I never thought that the things that I have inside of me, the things that I think or do inside are things that I can identify as or identify with. So I chose three things that are very simple but very, very powerful in my opinion. But there are things that I could have talked about that I still identify with that I don't think many people know they can identify with, such as anxiety, depression. Those are all things that are deep down in you that you identify with. There's a community out there that identify with some things that you identify with. So before starting this project, I just thought of my appearance, my brown hair, my blue eyes. I'm a female. I'm white. But I never thought about the things deep down inside of me. The first identity that I chose to talk about is my religion. And I identify with Judaism and Christianity. I get to say both because my mother is Jewish and my father is Christian. While that was really hard for my grandparents and great-grandparents to see, my mom marrying a Christian instead of someone that was Jewish. It was really eye-opening to them to see these two people raise two, three children who um, identify with both religions. In Judaism, you take after what your mom is. So my mom originally, like, she always tells us to say that we are Jewish because that's what she is. But as we've gotten older and grown up with two religions, she, she wants us to tell everyone that we're Christian, we're Jewish, we go to church, we've gone to a Jewish preschool, we celebrate both holidays. Because when she was growing up, she didn't want to be Jewish. She wants us to know that it's okay to identify with both religions. Because for her, she didn't want anything to do with Judaism. She wanted to be Catholic, Christian. She wanted to be anything but Jewish. Because people looked at her weird. Or thought she, people looked at her weird for being Jewish. And so she taught us to identify with both. The second identity that I chose was my gender. And I identify as a female. And I chose this one because it went hand in hand with the what power do I have as a female. And as our world has gotten better with females and allowing them to become educated, to vote, to have a voice, there is still a far way for our world to go with females. I can voice my opinion, but do I have the power to make those things happen? Because most of the time a male has to say, okay, yeah, that works. Or, yeah, we can do that. But... For me personally, I don't think I have the power with fe being a female to do those things. I feel like I would be looked down upon because I'm a female doing a man's job. Which, in this case, I'm becoming an educator, which is dominated by females. So, with being a female and talking about what power do I have, I want my future class to know that you can do anything 
you can say anything to get your voice heard. And I think your voice is the biggest power you have. Your words, who you talk to, your the way you speak, the way you do anything with your words, that's powerful. Does not matter if you are female or male, but the words that you say is the power you have. The or the actions that you do. That's the power you have. It does not matter, in my opinion, if you're a female or male. The third uh, identity that I chose with my, was my ethnicity. And identify as an American. And for some people, or for some countries, they don't like Americans. In some countries, love Americans. And I also identify as white. So I am in a white American female. And the first two, a white American, that would give you power because you're, it's considered white privilege. But when I throw in the female, that's where I think my power is lost. And as a future educator, I don't want any of my kids to believe that because someone is white and American that they have more power than someone else that isn't a white American. I want my students to believe in each other and have the knowledge of culture and identity and know what power means and think critically. So what do I want my classroom to look like or what kind of classroom do I want to create? I want to create a class where my students are the leaders. I want my kids to know that they can do anything but also know that I will guide them. I want them to be able to participate in a PAR classroom, so a participatory action research classroom. I want the kids to research and learn and be their own teachers and guide each other because I believe that's one way that students will learn the most is from each other and from different cultures and different identities. But with that being said, I need to teach what culture and identity mean. I need the students to learn that there's a difference between big C and little c in culture. That little c from the foreign language teaching article by Cramsh deals with everyday life. That culture deals with everyday life. Big C deals with culture of literature and the arts. What is the what what is being seen in literature and what is seen in arts with culture and identity? And with that, but before I can have them create this research, I need to have a brave space where students aren't feeling attacked or being discriminated against. I want them to challenge people and be respectful and respect others. But I want the I want to create a brave space so they can learn more and more about themselves and each other's in the class. I know it'll be so hard to take my identities and teach students about identities. So with this project, it was amazing to deep to dive deeper into who I am. So as a future teacher, I can teach students who they are and they can teach me who they are because that's how we're all going to learn. And these are the references that I used for my project. Thank you.